Good morrow everyone, Silvershire here, and this video is pretty different from what I usually do, so I'm going to give you a TLDR right off the bat. Heroescape is a tabletop strategy game that was a huge part of my childhood, and after being discontinued 12 years ago, it's finally coming back, but only if it gets 8,000 backers on Hasbro's crowdfunding website, which is linked in the description. I know I'm not a huge channel, but if I can convince even one person to help resurrect Heroescape, I'll be happy. So today, I'm going to give you a brief overview of Heroescape's lore and gameplay. In the land of Valhalla exists a group of winged humanoids called the Kiri. They lived relatively peacefully until the discovery of the Wellsprings, pools of magical water that grant immortality and various other mystical abilities. Five Kiri generals who had come to be known as the Valkyrie drank from these Wellsprings and went to war for control over the others. But Kiri were not the only combatants, for one of the abilities granted by the Wellsprings is that to summon warriors from across space and time. Thus, the war for Valhalla became the battle of all time, in which Vikings and Elves can fight orcs riding dinosaurs, or cowboys can get into shootouts with robots and aliens. The cool thing about Heroescape is that you're not limited to just one faction or even one Valkyrie. In fact, the game encourages you to mix and match in experimental ways by leaving synergistic abilities purposefully vague. For example, the Roman Legionnaires have an ability called Warlord Bonding, which means you can use them and a Warlord you control on the same turn. The logical warlord to pair them with would be the Roman commander, Marcus Decimus Gallus, but the ability works just as well with this guy, or this guy, or even this guy, because they're all warlords. And if you go with this guy, he has an ability that helps these guys out, and they have an ability that helps this guy out, and so on and so on. But I'm getting ahead of myself. How does the game actually work? First, you build a map using these awesome modular terrain pieces. They come in several sizes and snap together sort of like Lego. There are guides you can follow to recreate official maps, or you can just let your imagination run wild. Then, you and at least one opponent choose what characters you want to use, put them on the board, and you're ready to play. Combat is decided by the aptly named combat dice, which have skulls, shields, and blanks on them. The attacking and defending figures roll the amount of dice listed on their respective cards. And if the attacker rolls more skulls than the defender rolls shields, the defender takes damage. All of the characters have special abilities that can strengthen themselves and allies, weaken enemies, avoid attacks, mind control enemies, and do a whole lot more. Classic Heroescape is really tough to get your hands on these days, but thankfully, the new set alone gives you more than enough terrain and figures for a large game. It costs $250 USD with free shipping and is only available to order until November 15. I know that's a big price tag, but plastic miniatures are expensive, so the fact that you're getting over 70 unique sculpts along with everything else you need for the game makes this very reasonable. Keep in mind that won't actually withdraw your money until the campaign is over, and if it doesn't get the 8,000 required backers, no one will be charged anything. It's currently only shipping to North America, but there are plans to open it up to Europe, and there are also some lovely individuals on Heroescapers.com who are willing to organize some unofficial international shipping. This is our only chance to prove to Hasbro that there's still a market for Heroescape, so if you're able, please support this project. With that, I'm gonna leave this video here. Don't worry, there will still be a normal upload on Monday, I just wanted to get the word out about this. If you have any questions about this campaign, or about Heroescape in general, I would be happy to answer them in the comment section down below. So thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and until next time, I bid thee farewell.